expecting to get a lot of hate in this video. Just, just bracing yourselves for that, guys. That was really terrible English. I don't even know what the hell I was just saying. But hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So this video, I've only been meaning to film it for like two years, three years. How long have I had my YouTube channel? I don't even remember. But I've been putting it off. I am going to be talking about my top 10 favorite book series ever in this video. And I know people are going to disagree with the books I've put in this list and their order. But I just want to put a disclaimer. This is my personal opinion. You don't have to like any of these books on this list. You don't have to be okay with the order I put these books in on this list. This is just my personal preference. Beautiful thing about human beings. We're allowed to have different opinions and we should all respect that. For a very long time I did not have a favourite book series. I refused to acknowledge there was a book series or book that I liked more than others because I can't do that to my babies. You're not supposed to pick favourite children. I can't pick a favourite book. But we're just going to get straight into this video because I'd like to get it over as soon as possible because it's going to be extremely uncomfortable for me. Okay, so the book series coming in at number 10 is the one I'm going to cop all the hate for. I can see it now. Harry Potter comes in at number 10. Please don't hate me. Honest truth with you guys. Was not obsessed or enjoyed Harry Potter a lot as a kid. My mother hates Harry Potter. I grew up in a household where she absolutely bagged the hell out of J.K. Rowling's writing stuff. I read Harry Potter because everybody else read Harry Potter and I adored the film. It always upset me because everybody loved Harry Potter and I was like... I don't really like her writing style, like the story in the world is amazing, but for most of my life I have been of the opinion of if it was written by somebody else I would like it more, which is really bad because then it wouldn't be Harry Potter. I just read them because I didn't want to be the weirdo not reading Harry Potter who loved books. I reread it last year when I picked up these covers and I enjoyed it a lot more. I have mad respect for JK Rowling and the world she's created, something I've only come to appreciate later on in my life. So I'm getting, the, the, we're going now, this is it. So then the book series coming in at number nine used to be number one. That is the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer. Yes, I've put Twilight above Harry Potter. Please don't hate me. This did a lot for me in my high school years. I picked this book series up because everyone was obsessed with Twilight and they kept going on about how it was amazing and I only wanted to read it to prove everybody wrong and say that it was not in fact a good book. Well, I was wrong. Completely and utterly wrong. I loved Twilight. I have reread this series multiple times. It's got massive flaws. I know that. I understand that. I accept it. It's by no means the most amazing book series in the world ever, but I loved it and I enjoyed it when I was in high school and I'm not ashamed of that. Bella and Edward's relationship is totally messed up and I was not Team Jacob at all. Alright, then the book series coming in at number eight. I need to like dust my books. This has just taught me, Nicole, you need to dust your books. And that is The Wolves of Mercy Falls by Maggie Stevata. I said this before, this is basically like the werewolf version of Twilight. I, I loved this in high school. I carried Shiver around everywhere. I'm not even saying what books are in the series. Wow, Shiver, Linger, and Forever. Like, I loved this series. I thought it was so good. I cried so much in Forever. It was amazing. I know a lot of people just didn't like it, but I loved it, and that's all I care about. I thought it was amazing, and this is a series that got me into Maggie Stevart's writing. It's my favorite book series of hers. I thought it was fantastic. So that's it. The, the seventh, my top seventh series. It is The Violent Eden Chapters by Jessica Shervington. So the first book is Embrace, then we have Enticed, Emblaze, Endless, and Empower. This is an Aussie author. I loved it. It's basically got to do with angels and demons, I'm pretty sure. I just had the biggest, like, mind blow up. I just forgot what happened in this book series. I don't know, she's a teenage girl and her mom's, like, descended from angels or something. It's cool. I loved it. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fantastic. And that's why it's on this list. And the books are kind of heavy, so they're going to go back on my shelf. But this is number seven, okay? <laughs> number six coming in is the only contemporary book series. I have also spoken about this series a thousand and one times and that is the Cocktail series by Alice Clayton which features Wallbanger, Rusty Nail, Screwdriver, My Tied Up and then Last Call. This is just a, such a good contemporary series set in America and it's really cute if you enjoy romance and you're not offended by sex scenes. Pick it up. They are such an easy read. They're fun, lighthearted. You laugh out loud. They're adorable and 
if I never know what to read, I just pick this series up because I know I'm going to enjoy it. It's going to get me out of my reading slump and that is what you need. So yeah, I just, I love Alice Clayton. Oh, I don't want to pick up number five. They're too heavy. For the book series coming in fifth, I've only picked the first three because there's six books in this series and I'm not holding them all because that's heavy and I'm weak. That is The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. You guys know I love Cassandra Clare. So you've got City of Bones, City of Glass, City of Ashes, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. Did I say that all at once without looking? Did I get it right? Yes! Got it right. I'm excited. For a while, was probably what I would have said was my favorite book series by her, but I have changed it. I've been reading this series since I was in like year eight or something. I'm now 24. I started reading it when I was 13 or 14. But yeah, City of Bones is coming out, like it's 10th anniversary edition. It's gonna be released. I've loved this series for 10 years. Um, they're amazing, I love her. I just love the Shadowhunter world and I adored these series and the characters. Okay, so the book series coming in fourth. It's on the end, which is nice and easy for me. Should also come as like no surprise to anybody considering two years ago it's all I spoke about. That is the Raphaim series by Paula Weston, which features shadows, Haze, Shimmer, and then Burn. This is set in Australia, written by an Australian author, and it's Fallen Angels, the, the, the N word that I can't pronounce with the E and the P and the H and the I and the L and the I and the M. I don't know why I just bothered to spell it. I should have just said it how I very poorly pronounce words. But I freaking loved this series. This is girl Gabby. She has a twin brother who has died. And she doesn't really remember much that happened this night, but she has these really vivid dreams that she writes stories about. And then this guy, Raph, shows up and is like, you're a half angel, half human. And yeah, it's, it's amazing. I loved it. It's just, it's so good and I love Raph. But it's really good and I loved it and I just, I recommend it to everyone. Like, we are getting to the end of this list, thank God. The book series that I have put at third place. Well, come is no surprise because like my favorite male interest for the longest time came from this book series and that is The Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. That is Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess. I love William Herondale. That's all I have to say. William Herondale is why this book series come at third. If you've read The Moral Instruments, you need to pick up The Infernal Devices because in my opinion and a lot of other people's opinion, it's much better. William Herondale. That's all I'm going to say. William Heron Dale. And the covers are gorgeous. Like, I don't set, like, books set back in, like, I don't know, the 18th century, 19th century, 16th century. Whenever this series is set, England during the reign of Queen Victoria. I don't even know when the reign of Queen Victoria was. But whenever that was, I don't like books set back in time, but I enjoyed this because of William Heron Dale. William Heron Dale, people. You need him in your life. Okay, so the book series coming in at number two is what I like to refer to as my Harry Potter series. So everyone's obsessed with Harry Potter. How I feel about this series is the way that people feel about Harry Potter. And that is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. I freaking adore this series. I can't really say a bad word about it. Like, I don't know, I love Sarah's writing style. This world is amazing. The characters are funny. It's like it's assassins with kings and queens and like demons and Oh, it's just, it's so good. It deserves the fantastic recognition that it has. So when I was trying to decide which book series would come in at number one, it was tough, I'm not gonna lie, I did struggle, but then I really just had to look at my shelf and I sort of went, what book series do you own the hardcover and the paperback version of? And it was one series that I went, yeah, you know what? It's your favorite series because you talk about it all the time. You reread it already. Like, the third book just got released in the series. Pretty obvious. No one is probably going to be surprised at all. And that is the A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J Maas. I've spoken about this book series a thousand times. I love it. I love the world. I love the characters. It's so amazing. I just, I really adore it. It's just fantastic. I like that it's also new adult as well, because it's more my age. Easier for me to relate to it and everything, and I just... I freaking loved this series, okay? Like, I adore these books. I just, I loved it. I love this world. I love Reese. Reese is amazing. But yeah, this is my favorite book series and I love it. I'm not ashamed at all. Okay guys, so they are my top 10 favorite book series. Tell me your top 10 favorites. Cause like I said earlier, it's so subjective to your own personal opinions and experiences and, and everything. And everyone's entitled their own opinion and it's beautiful and we should celebrate and respect that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it. And as always, 
subscribe if you have not subscribed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!